This is Ken Nathan from Coffee Crafters and welcome to another episode of the Friday Show. We hear a lot of coffee terms floating around out there and they change throughout the years and one of the terms that floats around that confuses people is the term white coffee. So we're here today to talk about just what white coffee is and as we find out that actually depends on which country you're talking about. In the English speaking world Outside of the United States, most people refer to white coffee, and they've used that term for a long time, for nothing more than coffee with a creamer in it, and any kind of a white creamer. It can be milk, soy milk, or whatever. In the United States, we've only just started using white coffee to replace the term coffee and creamer. But throughout the world, it has been uh, named white coffee for many different reasons. In Yemen, they make a drink that's made out of the coffee parchment. Parchment is that the husk of the coffee bean after it's dried, and then they will shell that. Well, all these little, really light blonde colored shells, they grind that up and make a brewed drink and actually mix it with uh, something like a uh, uh, In Indonesia, they use the term white coffee for actually a blonde roast, and a blonde roast before first crack of the bean. So it's a really, really hard bean. In Lebanon, actually white coffee refers to something that's not coffee at all. It's actually orange blossom tea with sweetened condensed milk, but they call that a white coffee. I've had white coffee in a different form in Malaysia. That was my first introduction to a drink called white coffee that definitely didn't taste like coffee. And what it was is a coffee bean that was deep fried in margarine, and then they ground up that bean when it was a golden brown and mixed it with sweetened condensed milk, and that's what they call white coffee. Now the coffee scene in the USA is changing, and we're now calling white coffee uh, what some people refer to as a blonde roast. Um, it would be a light roast before about 400 degrees, right around first crack. Actually, Starbucks sells something they call a blonde roast. I think they said it's between 410 and 420 degrees, which is actually what we kind of call a light roast, not truly a, a blonde roast. Now, if you decide you want to try it and you're going to try some roasted coffee before first crack, before 400 degrees, remember that bean is really dense and really hard. And so don't try to put it in your regular coffee grinder because you'll learn what Carrie and I learned when we put it in the shop grinder, it will plug it up. It's like grinding rock, so you have to use something more like a, a spice grinder. So, so that's the scoop on white coffee. We apologize, we skipped a few Friday shows because we were busy, busy, busy putting out the Artisan 2.5, which is an awesome little roaster if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, check it out online. If you have some more ideas for the Friday show, please send them in and we will get those in the lineup. And hopefully we won't skip any Friday shows for a while. We'll take a little bit to get this one uh, to the editor and back, but we have a good lineup. So this is Ken Lathrop from Coffee Crafters. You've been listening to another episode of The Friday Show, and thanks for it's watching. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the week.